Well, most lopsided victory in program in the history of this series. I mean, Bill, what, what do you kind of make of how quickly things went for you? There? Yeah, I mean, obviously, we didn't expect that. Um, you know, the you know last year we got off to a fast start, and it, I think it was five nothing. And then I reminded the guys at a couple of timeouts, it was we were down two goals with two minutes left. So we had kind of started fast last year and did not finish. So we were really on the guys to stay focused. You know, we knew they would make a push or a run. Um, you know, obviously when they broke down, I felt like. Logan did a great job of making saves. You get 10 in the first half, so you're on a 20 game pace. And then Luke is winning faceoffs, so you're slanting the field and getting lots of possessions. You're getting into a flow. Um, the guys are feeling comfortable. Um, you can you know, kind of play, play at a pace and a comfortability that you like. And the guys executed, they finished shots. Uh, they did a really good job with that. They made the extra pass. Um, so, um, and once we got going, I think they got a little more confidence as, as things went on. Coach, you had uh, Logan early in the first quarter, or middle of the first quarter, had made a few mistakes, Logan was asked, and he got knocked down. It was like they poked the bear, and the bear, like, arose. He was unbelievable from that moment on. And Luke, with the big juice goal, again, talk about those two situations. Yeah, um, you know, we had a break, and I remember one of the plays, we, we got a break, and Logan tried to skip it, um, and it just didn't get through. Um, the good thing about Logan, I think these guys would, would agree, he, he's such a pro. Like, you wouldn't know whether he had four turnovers or four goals. He just kind of just this is very stoic and professional um, with what he does. So, um, you know, you knew we would get his opportunities, and he's done such a good job with – canning his opportunities when he gets to good spots he's been finishing at a ridiculously high rate um so um obviously happy about that and then um what was the other one um luke the uh, juice. that one was big uh you know just kind of getting the break um and again luke's done such a good job like every week he's practicing different things we're working on technique with the face off spot he is always working on a shooting and he goes lefty um and is able to hit one there so um again i think Owen moving to that point spot has helped us because um, at times you have a, a pretty darn good righty shooter um, and then you have Logan on the other side. So if you're hesitant to go, Luke is dangerous enough now to, to obviously be able to go and go with two hands, which is kind of a rarity. Hi, I'm Merlin wide receiver Rakim Jarrett. If you've been hurt in a car crash, people will tell you you need a lawyer. My mom says you need my lawyer, the Jack Litch Law Group. At 855 Big dog one. Don't just get a lawyer. Get, get the, the lawyers. lawyers. If you're hurt, listen to my mom and bite back with the big dogs. Eric, the, the week that or the game that Owen Murphy had today, um, what was it like for him? You felt like this week, kind of getting ready for this thing, and how cool was it to see him kind of run over and grab that that crab when he had the opportunity? Yeah, I mean, he had a great game. Uh, I know how much it meant to him, just because of last year and being a Hopkins and I mean he's such a great player for us he had a great game and it was so awesome to see how excited he was to lift that crab up for us. So coach it's really it's easy to talk about the offense uh, this was the sixth 20 goal game um, 20, 20 plus goal game in the season for you all which is a program record but the defense today just was playing lights out Hopkins could not win matchups either you or Logan if you want to talk about what it's like when you're when the defense is that dialed in and you're seeing the ball so well. How much fun is that to play? But also, what's it like out there? I mean, we had a good time out there. Um, the whole week, um, we had a really good week of prep. Um, the scout guys did a tremendous job showing um, kind of the schemes they run, a little bit of matchups. And um, we knew that um, we had to start off strong and keep the same pace throughout the whole game. And the defenders did a great job in giving me shots that I could see. Eric, uh, often there are goals that are qu very quick touch. Almost nobody takes a step and the ball goes in the net. When you set those up, do you see it before it happens? Are you three steps ahead? I mean, I think that our guys are just always in great spots. Mm -hmm. um, Coach Tills and Bobby just, are, our offense just flows and uh, everyone's always moving and cutting and so unselfish. So it doesn't matter who scores. And I mean, I, I think they were just open. So. Tills, I'll ask about, you about Owen as well and the week that he had. Yeah, you know, I, 
I always worry about this with Bobby, um, and that was another guy to worry about this week. Um, I just, obviously, this meet place means a lot to Bobby, put so much time in here. So, you know, as the week goes on, I'm always, how you doing? You know, you, you good? You good? And, and he hides it pretty well. Uh, for Murph, I was really worried. Um, you know, I, I kept saying like, okay, let's make sure we breathe. Um, you know, obviously had spent some time here, um, so there's always emotions and things like that. Um, so I was a little worried he would be emotional. Um, so that was something we were kind of keep, um, kind of just keep a gauge on. And what's been great is we've been kind of using both he and Eric in, in kind of roles where one guy's out there sometimes, the other guy's out there sometimes, and, and it's been great for both those guys. I actually think since we've been doing that, both guys have become more productive. But, um, you know, I just wanted to make sure, too, that that Owen didn't overthink this thing. Like, you know, like, hey, just you you got to play the game. And once the game starts, remember, it's the same game you've always played, and, and let's just make sure uh, we just play loose, just do the things we always do, and, and just always just make it about that. And I thought he did a good job. Um, he shoots the ball very well, and he got some good looks. And, and I thought he did a really good job of changing up his shots and his release points, uh, put the ball in different spots, which um, he's done a very good job with. Do you have that in the Nikki? Uh, for Logan, um, you were seeing the ball really good in that first quarter, it seemed like. And I think you only allowed four goals before you came out in the third quarter. Um, so making a couple big saves there in the first quarter, you know, how much uh, early, you know, does that help you settle in and kind of carry that for the rest of the game? I think I can speak for all goalies. Um, once you make those first couple saves and you kind of get a, like a feel for the, um, the scenery of the field and everything, you kind of get in the rhythm. And I want to give my props to the defense, too. They, I mean, they did a great job of giving me shots that I could see all day. And um, I'm going to give a special shout-out to Drew, Drew Morris. Um, he's one of the hardest workers we have on our team, and he goes out there and makes a lot of saves, very quality saves, and we all love it. We all love to see that. It was awesome. Yeah. Yeah. What a great teammate. So for him to get in there, yeah. I think it's seven saves in fourth yeah. quarter. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, Coach, you talked about staying focused after getting out to that really lead. And can you kind of talk to through that third quarter? I mean, I think you scored 10 goals on 12 shots. We shut them out the whole time. Uh, yeah, I mean, we just, you know, obviously playing them last year. And if you watch those last two games, like, you, you knew we had to come back in both those games. So those things made me nervous. Uh, and obviously, um, Kirsten's been playing great this year. I think he's been making all the saves he should and then some. I felt like that game in Ohio State could have gone either way. And we obviously had a nail biter with them last week. So um, again, I felt like it was eerily similar last year. They, they have been playing their best lacrosse. They've kind of, I think, figured out the parts that work best. Um, so um, for us, it was like, let's start the third quarter uh, you know, win the first five minutes. Certainly didn't expect it to go as well as it did, but um, obviously you'll take it. But to kind of get a couple early was huge because, um, you know, they get a couple, all of a sudden the momentum shifts. Um, so, again, just wanted to make sure we did a good job coming out of halftime. For Eric and then, and then Logan, just back back regular season, it's undefeated here. You're going to draw some comparisons to some all-time great teams. Just how distracting, if at all, is that? I don't think it's distracting at all. Um, and this is due to a couple things. Um, first off, our leadership is so amazing. Like they won't let us get distracted. Um, I mean, we prepare so hard all week, and you know we win games, but it's the next game always. We don't look like after this, it's the next week. So, I mean, that's huge for us. And I mean, we really got to give it, give it to the seniors on our team. Um. Yeah, we've had a good uh, first 12 games this of the season. Um, we have to keep it in the back of our, of our minds that it's playoff time now and that we can't let distractions distract us. And um, we got to keep the train rolling. Uh, ben, close out for us. Coach, uh, what does it do for you as, as a head coach of this team to be in a position after three quarters to be able to empty the bench and let some of your reserves and your other guys get some run in the fourth quarter? And for you guys as teammates, what does that do for you? Um, anytime we can get that opportunity, uh, I think it's important. Uh, we get like we have such a good group of guys, um, and I, I try to tell them as much as I can, um, but still, you know, keeping that hard edge at times, right? Um, I appreciate this group so much. Even if we were 0 12, I appreciate being around these guys. They are a great group. Um, they're low maintenance. They take care of each other. They take pride in representing our school the right way. Um, they go to class. At least most guys, most of the time. Sometimes when they don't, I become the angry coach. 
Um, you know, but that's something that we promised them coming in the door. Um, and so we're on them about, but they are a great group. Um, they are selfless. So it, getting those guys in, what was cool tonight was getting those guys in, but then seeing how even the guys that were playing, instead of checking out and just being kind of cool, like guys, like every save that Drew made, guys were getting fired up and uh, guys would make checks or ground balls and, and you'd see Brett Maycar going nuts. When your best players are so like engaged, it just shows how connected guys are um, and how much they care about each other. Because there are times in practice where we can't cover our scout team or we can't score on our scout team, and that's because those guys are working so hard. So for those guys to get in the game, like it's worth its weight in gold, and uh, it's something that I know we appreciate, and I know for these guys, it's 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 awesome to see. Um, and if we didn't do that, you know what? Like. I'd call it BS. You know, it's like we work hard all week and we have a chance to play and you're not going to put us in. So, uh, again, we, we're good because of everybody and what they do all week long. And, again, sometimes it's the things they don't do so that we can stay focused and we don't have distractions. So it's been a great group. And, obviously, getting a little bit of rest now I think will be important for some of our guys. Um, and then we'll kind of see what happens. But we've kind of mapped out next week. Um, I think the kids need a break, uh, get away from lacrosse for a little bit. Um, and just be able to kind of work on school and just relax a little bit. And then obviously realizing we got a late push here where, um, you know, it's kind of do or die in a lot of ways. So I think they know what's at stake. So um, respecting their time, I think we're going to get more focus and excitement and energy. And some guys that have been dinged up, I think we'll get healthier. Eric, as a, as a guy who's been on the defense and, you know, still around and will be around next year, Talk about what Logan Wisnowski has meant to you, and what he means to the offense and everybody on the you know on the squad. Yeah, he is just an outstanding player. But more than that, like he's a great role model. I mean, he does everything the right way. I think Coach Tomlin said uh, he's just so professional, just the way he handles his business and everything. Um, so I mean, he's just he's like the glue to our offense. Many other guys too, but he definitely is a great leader and great role model. Awesome. Thank you, everyone.